What's going on guys? So I'm back with another one here. Uh, this one's going to be a lot shorter than the other one. The other one was about 20 minutes long, my other video. But this one, I just want to touch base more and expand on how I pay myself first and how to pay yourself first. And like just what to do and how I do it. Um, so in this video, I'm going to try to keep it short and sweet. So number one is what does paying yourself first actually mean? Paying yourself first means soon as any income that hits your account, your bank account, you move a fixed percentage of that paycheck into savings and investments. First thing, first absolute thing. You know why? Because if you'd be like, oh, I'll just put it aside. I'll wait. You know, if you just the longer you put it off, the higher odds are that you're just not going to save anything. And uh, you're going to you're going to spend, you're going to keep spending. And then whatever's left over will be like no money. And you'll be like, well, you know, everything's expensive inflation. I can only save this 50 bucks. Last month I saved seventy two dollars, you know, because what you're doing is you're waiting till the end to save the money, which it's not how it works, because subconsciously as we go about our daily activities and we do stuff we're going to spend it's easy to swipe your card and not actually have a photographic memory of your checking account every single dollar that's leaving your account at the moment so you'll swipe away you'll do this you'll do that you'll mindlessly spend money and then next thing you know you check your bank account i'm sure this happened to all of us you're like wow as if i spent that much you know what i mean and that is exactly what i I have a system for to protect myself against and I'll still there's still times I'll like I've had nights out before like which is something I'm way cutting back I'm trying to cut back on now before but you know I do act social activities and stuff but yet no matter what even though I've spent a lot of money going out or doing stuff or eating at restaurants whatever no matter what during that time, I had still secured a fixed percentage of my income right when I got paid before I did all those things. So no matter what, I secured something. So, uh, so this means basically when you save a fixed percentage in, of your paycheck, you put into savings and investments. And then the theory is quit spending it all on other corporations. And like, you know, you pay your landlord, you pay your credit card, you pay your phone bill, you pay your memberships at all your stuff, you pay, you know, your book membership, you pay the grocery store, you pay all this stuff. And then by the time at the end, you're left with breadcrumbs, right? Well, this is why you pay yourself first. And uh, basically, when you do this first, um, you not only secure an income, but then you'll get an idea. When you put this money aside, you'll get an idea of where you should probably cut back in with your expenses. Um, and then it'll also force you to cut back no matter what, because you put this money aside and I'll tell you how I do it, where I can't just easily come and take this money back and spend it. Right? So number two is how do I do this efficiently? So my strategy is I keep all my cash and investments in a brokerage firm rather than in my bank account. So this gives me access to state-of-the-art investing software. And even if I didn't want to invest and just want a cash, I can have a, a cash account, which you can invest with, or you could just keep your money in liquid cash. And it just segregates my money away from my daily spending bank account. So I check my bank account. I don't see all like, you know what I mean? I don't, uh, I don't have to see all my savings investments. And like, you know, I don't know if you noticed, but if you go on your banking app, your savings account is literally a tab that is right under your checking account. You can literally just click transfer and move money right from there to right up there. And then you can spend it. So let me just adjust this a little bit, but yeah. So that's, it's not really like protecting yourself against yourself. So, so what happens is number three is this brokerage account that you can open, which I would recommend interactivebrokers.ca is the one I use. Um, and, um, so this brokerage account is basically protection against any impulsive decisions. And when you money wire money to your self directed broker account, or you could transfer via online bill pay, which is what I do. It takes three to five business days to show up in your brokerage account. And then it also, when you make withdrawals, it takes three to five business days to show up into your bank account. So what this does is it acts as a deterrent 
from making any impulsive spending decisions in the very moment. So if you're on a night out and you're intoxicated or something, you can't just go to the ATM and pull this money out. It takes five business days to transfer. So obviously just right there, it deters you from even the desire to do so. And you just don't even, you know, you don't bother. You're just like, oh, well, my money, I can't just access it like that, right? So, so it's an extra layer of security against your psychological flaws of spending money impulsively, all right? So I also help clients set this up for themselves in my coaching and when I coach people. So this is exactly what you gotta do. And this is just what I wanted to touch base on, on the art of paying yourself first. Start small when you do it, do five or 10% of your total income. How to calculate this is take your yearly income after taxes, divide that by 12, that gives you your monthly income. Simple, right? Simple, we'll keep it straightforward, not complicated. Now you got your monthly net income. Now you take that number and you say, if you want to do 10%, you just, if you want to save 10% of that number, you take, say you make $3,000 after tax a month, take 3000 times 0 0.1, which is 10%. And then that value will be 10% of your income, which is $300 of 3000. So, um, and you know, once you get into higher percentages, it's easy, like that's where you really, the calculator kind of helps like calculating 10% of anything is pretty easy just to do mentally. But, um, so yeah, and that's, that's basically it. And that's what I want to touch base on, on, uh, how to protect money against yourself, how to pay yourself first. Um, you're basically, you're putting contingencies in place to act as barriers from you actually being able to touch this money because this is a way for like, I used to be, and I still am an impulsive spender. But this is how I could stack and just not blow all my cash still. So whatever's left over, damn right, yeah, I do stuff, I do activities, I enjoy my life still, I spend money, but I secure the bag pretty much, is what everybody likes to call it these days. But yeah, so that's basically it. And that's my strategy. And that's how I would like to show everybody how to do it. And this thing, I don't know why, but my phone just keeps dragging it down anyways have a good day guys um if you're watching this on youtube or facebook whatever follow subscribe all that stuff uh, i'll have a lot more videos coming out so um sweet i'm glad to help have a good day